Let's run it back with the Air Penny One Orlando Home. Welcome back to the channel, and if you haven't already, why don't you hit that subscribe button. Originally released in 1995, the Air Penny, the Air Penny 1, the Air Max Penny, was the very first signature shoe for Penny Hardaway, and originally came in three different colorways. As we know them as today is the Orlando colorway, the All-Star colorway, and the 1995 home colorway. They call this colorway of the Air Max Penny the home colorway because you could see Penny Hardaway wear this most of the time in his white pinstripe home jersey. Now the 2022 version is the very first re-release of the home colorway. We have not seen this colorway ever released since 1995. I'm not sure why because all the abundance of colorways of the Air Penny one. So I don't understand why this one took so long to re-release. Now the Air Penny one when it released was called the Air Max Penny because it had the original Air Max bag, the larger bag. So let's compare the 1995 Air Max Penny to the 2022 release. For the most part, the Air Max Penny uh, home colorway has a great shape and a great design. Very good leathers, polyurethane midsole they used this time around is way more comfier than any of the previous retro releases. But compare it to the 1995 version, the airbag is a lot smaller than the original Air Max Penny airbag. Now, I'm not sure why Nike has gone away from this Air Max, this bigger Air Max bag. Um, maybe it's because of the seam that you see in the middle of the Air Max bag there. Maybe it, uh, maybe it breaks over time or splits. That could be the reason. But all in all, I think the Air Max Penny would look a lot better with the bigger Air Bag. As you can see, the original 1995 Air Max has a way larger air bag compared to the 2022 release. Both of these are size nines. For some reason, the white version is bigger. The color of the jewel, the Nike swoosh, is a little lighter color than the original uh, check, as you can see here. On the white version, originally from 1995, that check would be the same color as this black version. I do not have the original 1995 white version as it was very hard to get back in the day. So I'm comparing it to my 1995 original Air Max Penny. The wing on the side is very similar to the 1995 uh, soft foam, soft foam. Uh, the leather upper is very nice on this 22 release. It has good cuts of real, real leather. It doesn't feel like it's synthetic anywhere here. Maybe the middle parts in between the, uh, the eye loops might be some fake leather. But all in all, a well-built uh, Air Max Penny Retro. Best, I would say one of the greatest logos for a signature player of all time, that Air Penny One Cent logo. You got your uh, 1995 sole with the see-through Air Max bag with the Nike Air that you could see through the bottom. And the Nike Air on the insole. And you've got neoprene tongue for the Air Max Penny. All in all, a great retro. Definitely, if you're an OG head and you want the complete original set of the Air Max Penny, uh, don't hesitate to get this one. Thanks again for tuning in. Why don't you let me know what you think of the Air Max Penny one? And don't forget, that uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Foresight23. And if you have any comments, please leave them below. And until next time.